Hello, it's Waylon Kenning here. We are going to be running through the WSO2 Enterprise Service Bus Quick Start Guide. So we're going to follow these steps and you and I together we're going to get our Enterprise Service Bus running. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure we've got uh, JDK and I already do. We can check that out by making sure that you can go echo java underscore home and it should point to your path to your JDK or JRE. Make sure we've got Apache Ant. I've got that already installed. So if I go echo Ant Home, you'll see, oh, foolish me, it not said anything. But I can type Ant and I've already set that up in advance. So first thing I've done is I've already downloaded WSO2 ESP and I've extracted that out um, to WSO2 ESP so that's where mine is hanging out so first thing that we need to do um, according to this is we just need to set the log level of org.apache.synapse to debug by editing a, a particular file so let's find the file the WSO2 ESP lib slash lib uh, we're looking for log 4j dot properties file so log so According to this, what we need to do now is we need to find the line that says org.apache.synapse. So, category org.apache.synapse. And we want to set this to debug, which we have set. We'll save. We can close that and just get an administrator version of my command line. Okay. So, now we need to start our server. So, we can do that by going to our bin folder and starting wso2 server.bat. Give it a second for it to fire up. Alright, so we've started WSO2. It's been running for quite some time now and uh, what we need to do is go to web browser and go to localhost port 9443 slash carbon and we should be directed to the log on screen of WSO2. And cool bananas we are. Enter the username which is admin, the password which is admin, or click sign in. And rad, so we've now logged in to WSO2. Let's minimize that. So, as per the instructions, we now need to click on Monitor System Logs. And if we click View, we'll see a whole bunch of logs, which will be great. And we do see a whole bunch of logs. And we can go Monitor System Statistics. And we'll see that the system is running fine because they haven't done anything. So, now it's saying go to sequences on the left hand panel. So, if we go back up, go to main and click sequences, then it's telling us to click edit on the main sequence. So, if we click edit on the main sequence, we have our sequence. So a couple of mediators, the in and the out mediator, you can see 
and something comes in, it gets logged, and then goes to a filter, which then sends it. You can click on any of these uh, mediators and you can see more information about them. Click on the filter one, you'll see it's for local host port 9000. Anyway, what we need to do is go back to our sequences and it's telling us that we need to enable statistics and enable tracing. That's what I just did. So now we need to start up the sample Apache Access 2 server. So, let's do that. Fire up another command line. Oh, let's make sure it is the local admin command line. And it is. So it's telling us to go to the WSO2 folder, samples, access to server, source, simple stock, simple stock quote, let's go to the, just the source folder, oh, that's my problem. EDWSO2 samples access to server source simple stock quote service directory run ant to build and deploy this. So right. So now go back to the access to server directory start the server using the following command so access to server dot bat that's all done we've got a HTTP listener started on port 9000 so now we need to run the client So, in this one we need to go to the WSO2 ESB folder, samples, access to client, and type in the following command. Maybe you can cut and paste it. doing something. Oh hurrah! So we've got a stock price there. Did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so the build was successful. So you can see it sends a request for a stock quote for the symbol IBM, sets the transport URL to the ESB, the WS addressing EPR to the actual server. Um, and it shows you an example of the quote over the wire. So we've actually just done messaging mediation using WSO2's ESB and they want us to check it out and so if we go monitoring system logs and go view so in here well, there's the truckload of logs. So maybe if we go across the monitor mediation tracer, we can see what was happening for this particular uh, particular request that we made. Grand. All seems to be working hunky dory. So now if we click monitor mediation statistics you'll see that uh, we've you know we've we've done one and it's worked fine. So for more information we can go to 
uh, let's see, right, server statistics in the top left hand box are up here, and we can find out the response times, maximum, minimum, and average. So that's, that's pretty neat. So that's the first part of the guide.